Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel, and today, or tonight, supposedly, yeah, it's tonight. Tonight, uh, we should be pulling the motor, hopefully, I mean, there's not much left, it's, it's just a cross member, drive shaft, and I think it's ready to be pulled out, so, yeah, here she is. Uh, motor mount's already unbolted, everything's unbolted, just need to get the, uh, the, um, engine hoist from downstairs up here to pull it out, which is going to be fun, because, yeah, there's, there's not much room for an engine hoist, so, let's hope that goes smoothly. Alrighty, pretty much everything is unbolted, uh, right now it's just sitting on pretty much the K-member in the, uh, transmission jack, so, we are getting the, uh, jacks, uh, the, um, motor hoist ready, man, I'm so freaking tired, can't get my words right, but, yeah, getting the, um, engine stand ready, and also, I forgot to mention in the last video, I got the flywheel that was messed up in the last video, I got that refinished at, actually, an advanced auto parts, so, in Winchester, there is a auto parts distribution center that has a machine shop. And now it looks brand new. Go back and look at the other video if you haven't seen it. It's a huge difference. This looks like a completely different flywheel. So yeah guys, I uh, got the GoPro on the windshield. So we should be recording the whole process of pulling the motor out. Hopefully it goes smoothly. We gotta bring the motor up and over to here to the side. I am scared that that's my fender. But yeah, let's just, fingers crossed man. Fingers crossed, let's hope it goes well. So we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, engine hoist ready. guys picking this up a day later um but right now uh about to go to the auto parts store gotta buy a new engine mount which the passenger side one broke kind of figured out because uh, i noticed before the car broke the engine looked tilted like this i could tell by the supercharger the supercharger looked like it was tilted so yeah the engine mount was broken so we're gonna replace that we gotta buy new spark plugs gotta buy oil gotta buy power steering fluid gotta buy a whole bunch of stuff for this thing but it's all cheap stuff here and there and that shouldn't be too bad it's gonna cost a little bit but that should be the final stuff to have to buy for this thing. You just should be ready to throw in. I'm, I'm so stressed at this point. I want to get this car done. I'm, I'm tired of dealing all, with all this. I mean, it is a cool experience. Um, I never did think I was going to ever pull the motor out of this car. But, of course, here we are. And that's sad. That motor has never, ever been torn out since factory. So, it's, this is the first time in 22 years this motor has been out. Which is crazy to think about, really. But... Yep, so she is out. I cannot wait to wait. I cannot wait to see what that clutch looks like. I bet that thing looks glazed. And uh, I, I, I can't imagine how bad that clutch looks. But yeah, about to head to the auto parts store and get some parts and oil and fluids and all that good stuff. So yeah, so let's head out there. Also, guys, doing, the, uh, doing all my uh, V6 content on TikTok night, everything. It's going to be on YouTube also. But, like, a little short series on the V6 content on adding new stuff, small stuff. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Just uh, dropped a video not long ago of adding that beat-up cover bumper. So, yeah, go check that out. Five-speed lightning cold start. Oh, yeah. We got Tyler behind us. Going to be helping us with some of the work on Reaper. I uh, got... I think I got almost every part going to the other auto parts on the other side of town to get a uh, motor mount. Because both motor mounts on the original motor of Reaper are kind of, you know, busted. Uh, I don't know, I never noticed that they were busted, but they're busted. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some new motor mounts. already got one in here. I'm going to go get the other one. I got a uh, oil pump housing gasket or oil filter housing gasket. Let me correct myself. I keep saying pump. I don't want to keep saying pump. But, yeah, we got Tyler behind. So, yeah. Alrighty, fingers crossed. I don't have to buy anything else because this car's been absolutely raping me. But I think we got everything. Got the other motor mount. Got uh, transmission fluid. I think we are Gucci. So we're heading back to the house and hopefully throw this thing back together. Race car. Got the got the curber bumper. Got the blast pipes. Twelve horsepower per inch. You got no seatbelt, so don't even attempt to put it on. It's locked up. What do you think of a real race car? This thing's fast. Can't you tell? 
It's got a 302 Terminator blower under there. It's a Cobra 392. It's that new camouflage, see? You can see right through it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is big. You want a drink before I fucking dump it out? I'm good. I'll stick my thing in it. Daddy, chill. Alrighty, guys, picking this up a day later, and I think the motor's ready to go up. I uh, got the new timing cover on from the old motor, got that all cleaned up. Uh, pretty much got the uh, header bolts fixed because we had to fix those. Those are fixed. Uh, had to get an EGR delete uh, because we kind of broke the EGR tube. So, doing an EGR delete while we're at it, why not? Uh, we uh, capped off the header and we got made a, uh, we actually made a plate. Um, I don't know where he set the blower at, but the plate is on the blower. By the way, we'll, uh, I'll check that out. Uh, let you guys see that uh, once we uh, get to that point. But yeah, the uh, fun part is, is going to be getting a truck down here. And it rained a few days ago and it will not dry out because that night it keeps freezing and now it's thawed out, of course. So it's all muddy. So we're having fun trying to get that up. But hopefully, hopefully the truck doesn't get stuck. So, but I guess we'll see what happens.